Hello Stoke community, welcome to another Starbase UGC video tutorial. This is part three of our triggers tutorial series. Um, as promised, I'm going to show you some more technical things that you can do with triggers, um, also in conjunction with branching dialogue, and as always we're going to be hiding objects under the floor. Now here is a map in the foundry. I've exiled my boffs um, and I've put in an Andorian cutie. So my mission is to charm the Andorian cutie. So I'll come up, I'll, oops, I'll just talk to the Andorian cutie and she says hello. From that point I have some choices. I can say how you doing? I can say nice boots. I could say would you like a drink or I could say goodbye for now. I can probably imagine what happens when I say how you doing. She says get lost creep. So let's talk to her again and I'll pick the right answer which is would you like a drink. She says well dancing does make me thirsty. So continue. From that point on my mission is to order a drink for the lady. So I'm gonna go to the bartender talk to the bartender. He says, what'll it be, stranger? Two Andorian ales, please. There's the Andorian ales. Take the Andorian ales and give the drink to the Andorian cutie. She says, I'm sorry, but I don't accept drinks from strangers. I was simply answering your question. Okay. So now my mission is to find another way to impress. And I have a lot of different options. I can talk to her again. I could beg. See if that worked. She says, that does not impress me. Okay, what if I blow her a kiss? That does not impress her either. Um, I will dance seductively. That doesn't work. Okay, how about air guitar? That still doesn't work. Okay, so I'm out of options. And I still have to find another way to impress her. Hmm, well, maybe there's something in the map that I missed here. Pick fern. Okay, I'll pick a fern. Now I can give the fern to the Andorian cutie. She says, Wow, I like ferns. You impress me, Starfleet. Want to get out of here? Okay, that's my silly little mission. <laughs> and I'll go through it again and I'll try to explain how I did this. Mostly it involves putting objects under the floor and making it where those objects appear and disappear in a coordinated sequence. So if so right now there are lots of objects underneath the floor of the Andorian cutie but they're not set to be visible yet so they're not obje objects that I can interact with. And so my first prompt is just to talk to a contact. I set up a branching dialogue. Um, this is the right answer. That moves to the next objective, which is to talk to a contact. And once this objective is complete, there are two bottles set to appear. Now, once I interact with them, using this component complete, they are set to disappear. Um, really, one is set to this component complete, the other is set to component complete and linked to the first bottle. So the object that I'm interacting with here with component complete is really just one of the bottles. But I'll take the Andorian Ales and once that component complete is done, they disappear. My next objective is to talk to her again, or rather, I'm sorry, my next objective is 
to interact with the object that is hidden after I no no I'm right I'm sorry my next objective is to talk to her and she tells me I'm sorry but I don't accept drinks from strangers that moves it on to what the next objective is which is to interact with this object all these other things going on here the first is her default text so because I'm, I'm not on a mission or there's no objective to talk to her that's just her default text. She'll say it over and over again. All these other things are objects under the floor that were set to appear after the previous objective was complete. And so I'll interact with the objects and I can ascribe an animation to my tune. I can make it where it seems like I'm interacting with her, but I'm really just going through this random collection of, I think I use bottles, and put the bottles underneath the floor. One thing you might ask is, well, they're invisible objects. Why are you using bottles? Well, the bottles are small. If I use the invisible object, I'd be able to interact with it from, like, here, because they're just too huge. So I use bottles, and I can... I don't even have to interact with the bottles. I mean, I can go ahead and, you know, choose not to play air guitar. You know, I don't have to play air guitar, because it's not part of the mission objective. What is part of the mission objective is to pick a fern. And that's another hidden object. And then, once I pick the fur, fern, yet another invisible object appears underneath her, which is give the fern to her. And really, I don't even have to do that. All I, all I really need to do is talk to her, and she'll say, Wow, I like ferns. You impress me, Starfleet. So let me just go here to the story tab and literally there is barely anything in the story tab it involves talk to a contact you know talk to her once talk to the bartender talk to her again then interact with the fern the hidden object in the pot plant and talk to her once more that's all that's in the story tab um, but there is a set of branching dialogue, which is really just a very, very simple branching dialogue. It's, it's hello, and there are three wrong answers set to fail, and one right answer set to success. And maybe in a future tutorial I'll get into some of the different things you can do with these guys. But for right now, I just used a, very, used a very simple branching dialogue, but I did some complex things with hidden objects and triggers. Okay, I think that's this tutorial for now. I hope that's helpful to people. Please keep leaving us tips on the forums or the blog. Please leave requests for future tutorials. Thank you.